everybody, welcome to Easy Soloing Strategies, class number three. Let's get started. Have to look at your, you know, the tabs. Hopefully you just have a few of these shapes memorized now, especially the blues scale, the blues box, but also that sliding scale in the major pentatonic. You gotta make a lot of music out of just one shape or two. If you find like you have to play a lot of different positions to make music, I do think there's an issue there. <laughs> and you know, again, I always say stay on two strings, stay on three strings, limit yourself. And it's really about the swing and the feel of it. Come out of it. So fingering is always an issue, but you know, experiment. That's the thing I, I should say, because you're gonna, uh, you're gonna get, you're, it's gonna sound one way, <laughs> in one, even in position, like if I were to do this, um, versus, versus this, a bluesy little lick like that. It's interesting, I'm choosing the same notes, same rhythm, but it's depending on where I'm gonna play it, it might sound a little bit different. In G major blues, is. So I went, I'm actually doing all four fingers. You know, again, you, I, I demonstrated like this. Versus. So again, you know, you'll, you'll notice that it's, it's, it's different. It's, this is Satin Doll, for example, here, I'm gonna loop the A section. If you, if you all know Satin Doll, it's kind of a beautiful song that uses a lot of two fives. But it's a song that I want to kind of use and get us into more for some 2-5 ideas. But also to demonstrate D minor, G7, E minor. For those of you who have hopefully already learned a little bit of it at least. It's a lot of 2-5 um, movements. 2-5, 2-5, 3-6, 3-6. And then it kind of does all these little A minor, D, A flat minor. But basically, it's just in the key of C. It has these secondary dominance, but you can simplify so if I said key of C major, I'm just gonna play this as I talk and demonstrate, just this is a quick demo. I would think A minor blues. And this is over the whole A section. And then right here, C minor. major and then C minor and then C minor so but what's what's interesting and kind of convoluted about that is C minor is equivalent to what major pentatonic? So I'm gonna go up three frets from C. I'll show you C here. And that might be a weird thing to be thinking. Hey, we're in the key of C major, but I could play E flat major. You know, if you just said that, hey, can I just play E flat major against C major? Most people would be like, no. <laughs> but when you think of it as C minor blues, that's different. And again, that's this flavor. Um, I'm gonna play, you can do it with me, see my hair. See that E flat? It just sounds really bluesy, you know, again that. Interesting. C minor is equivalent to E flat major. For example, so, Satin Doll is in the key of C major, the, the fake book key. But you could be thinking E flat major pentatonic right here, which is C minor. So again, that, these are some really interesting um, ways to think about it that, that it works. I would not run, however, 
an E flat major scale. We're talking about pentatonic or the blues scale. Pentatonics leave out two of those notes, which is important because those would be notes that would probably disagree a little bit more that you don't want to land on. And that's a very important thing to work on major to minor. And that's going to be a big topic for next week's session today. But I want to kind of just reiterate that. Practice your licks, your scales. Play your major lick. Minor. Major. You know, just going back and forth. Major. Minor. Major. Minor. Major. Minor. Major. And go back and forth. Major, minor. That was a 12-bar blues right there. I was just kind of going back and forth.